Hello everyone, let's solve this question together. Some pupils were bored during a lesson and started to fold paper stars. Oh no, in 9 minutes, 5 pupils can fold 10 paper stars. So the question is asking, how long does it take for 3 pupils to fold 72 paper stars all together? And you're supposed to express your answers in hours and minutes. Okay, so first of all, let's write what we know, okay? So here, we are given the amount of time, okay, the number of pupils and the number of paper stars. Okay, so let's fill in the magic numbers. 9, 5 and 10. Alright, and then what are we supposed to find here? Okay, we are supposed to find the amount of time, okay, that 3 pupils take to fold 72 stars. So after reading the entire question, we can somehow tell that this question involves rate. Okay, why? Because rate question usually involves three quantities. Okay, and one of them would have something to do with the amount of time, which we can find here. Okay, so before we start to solve the question, we first need to understand the basic relationship between the three quantities. Okay, time, pupils, and paper stars. So since we know that five pupils can make ten paper stars in nine minutes. Let's ask ourselves this, okay? For the same amount of time, how many paper stars can one pupil fold? If the number of pupils decrease, will the number of paper stars that are being folded go up or down? It will go down, right? Because if you have fewer pupils, you have fewer hands, so fewer paper stars. Alright? So now we know that the number of pupils and the number of paper stars that are folded actually moves in the same direction. Correct? Okay. Meaning that if one decreases, the other one will decrease as well. So since we get one student by taking 5 divided by 5, we can get the number of paper stars that are folded by taking 10 divided by 5 too. Okay. So we will get something like this. Okay. One pupil can fold two paper stars in 9 minutes. Okay. So now that we know that, we need to look at what the question is asking us to find again. Here, remember we are supposed to find the amount of time that 3 pupils okay, take to fold 72 stars. Okay. So now, using the same 9 minutes, let's try to find out how many stars can 3 pupils make. Okay. Think about this. When the number of pupils increases, right? Okay. does the number of paper stars that are being folded increase or decrease? It will increase, correct? So here, we will want to make one pupil into three pupils, correct? Okay, and we do that by taking one multiply by three. So same thing, we also need to take two multiply by three, okay? And we will get something like this, okay? Three pupils can fold six paper stars in nine minutes. Okay, so far so good? So we are almost done with this question already. Remember, we need to find the amount of time it takes for 3 pupils okay, to make 72 stars. So in order to solve for the answer, we need to ask ourselves, how do we get 72 from 6? Okay, We need to multiply 6 by 12, correct? So keeping the number of pupils the same, if we have the same number of pupils, okay, meaning 3 pupils, and we want more stars to be folded, okay, would the amount of time needed increase or decrease? We will naturally take longer, right? So can you guess our next step? Okay. Since we take 6 multiplied by 12, we also have to take 9 multiplied by 12. Okay. And this would give us a value of okay, 108 minutes. Are we done here? Mm, not quite. Okay. There's still one more step. As the question is asking us to express our answers in hours and minutes, okay, we have to convert 108 minutes to hours and minutes by taking 108 divided by 60, which gives us 1 hour and 48 minutes. Okay? And that's our answer. Thank you for watching and I hope it helped.